Why, hello there. Oh, what, were you expecting Chris from The Rewired Soul? <laughs> No, I'm obviously not him. I'm Positively Udo from my channel, Positively Udo. And Chris is out today, so I'm taking over. <laughs> today, we're talking about adult ADHD. That's attention deficit disorder. Do you have it? I definitely have it. You can tell that I have it because I totally lost my tripod. So I'm selfie sticking it today. We call that the ADHD tax you know, where you actually own something, but because you misplaced it, because you have ADHD, you have to pay extra money to buy it again. And then probably two months later, you find it and you can't return it. And so yes, ADHD exists for adults. It's not just for kids. Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit. Silly rabbit. ADHD isn't just for kids. And getting this diagnosis was probably one of the most liberating things I ever experienced in my life. Imagine going through your entire life thinking that there's something wrong with you, but you just don't know what it is. It seems like everybody else is able to do tasks faster, better, stronger. <laughs> And it takes you two, three, four, five times as long to do the same thing. Imagine going through your entire life feeling like there's something going on. You don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is. They can't help you. You just SOL. But then as an adult, you learn that you actually have something with a diagnosis. And when you have a diagnosis, you can do something about it. I found out about my ADHD when I was in college. I was an engineering student. I shouldn't have been, but I was trying to do the thing that makes the most money. Living your life that way when you have ADHD doesn't really work out now. Uh, it was becoming quite evident because the easiest class in my entire course load was this um, management class. And I took it and I failed. So I retook it and I wasn't showing up to class. I was about to fail yet again. The professor sent me a letter that said, do not return to class. I got distracted by my cat. ADHD strikes again. Do not return to class until you see the Dean of Student Life. I was like, oh my gosh, am I on probation? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was freaking out. But then the Dean of Student Life said, Udo, have you ever considered that you might have attention deficit disorder? I was like, you mean like ADD? Isn't that for kids? Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Yeah! I actually got a psyche valve that showed I definitely have it. <laughs> During the psyche eval, the psychiatrist, when she was going over the results, she was like, Udoka, I asked you a question and you literally looked out the window mid-sentence. After the diagnosis, there was finally a glimmer of hope because that means I can get treatment. And there's different ways to treat ADD. Uh, medication has been proven effective. Cognitive behavioral therapy has also been proven effective and actually the two coupled together um, has been said to be the most effective form of treatment for adults with this disorder. And I'm definitely not one of those people who try to pass ADD off as There's nothing wrong with us. We just think differently. We're creative. The world can't go on without us ADD folk. I mean, that's true. When you have ADHD, you're very creative, you're very ambitious, rambunctious, fun. You could be the life of the party when you want to be, but um, it does affect your day-to-day -day life. It does make things hard. It does just make simple adulting more difficult than what it needs to be. So if you have ADHD, you need to seek treatment because this disorder can actually get worse with time without treatment. Yeah, 
You know how they say it's going to get better? Sometimes if you just try to ignore a problem, it just gets worse. If you know somebody with ADD or a coworker with ADD, give them some love. They're doing the best that they can. Make sure you share this video with somebody that you care about. Maybe you think you might have ADD or you have a loved one who uh, you guys are thinking about it. Because the thing is, with mental health, there's still a stigma. I know that for the longest time, I didn't even want to seek treatment for my ADD because I felt ashamed. I felt like I should be able to do things without the extra help. I felt I fell for the whole everything has to be natural fad. And I thought medications were the devil. But really, they're there to help. And it can drastically, drastically improve the quality of your life. So make sure you share this with somebody because it might, just might, help change somebody's life. If you're new to the Rewired Soul, make sure you subscribe. I promise Chris will be back with your regularly scheduled programming. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think you have ADD? Do you know somebody with ADD? What was your experience like when you realized that you or a loved one was going through it? And if you feel so inclined, you can come over to my channel, check, check me out just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Uh, I hope to do more collaborations on here. So much fun. I hate saying goodbye, but... It is time that we part ways. So until next time, much love, much luck, peace out.